Hello everybody, Jay, Jay's Aquatics. I uh, just want to start by saying if anybody does click on the video, thank you so much. Uh, it's going to be a video on uh, my hobby and how I use it to help with my illness and so on. Um, to be honest, it, 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 anxiety, so I can't go outdoors all the time. Um, so to stop from being bored and lazy and so on, I use this fish of it to help with that. So I hope you enjoy. So the first tank that we're going to look at is a six foot tank. It's got some nice driftwood, uh, only a few plants, angels, so some corridors, uh, a couple of discus. Uh, needs a, needs a <laughs> clean. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice tank. It's a nice tank. should be quite shy so it's filtered by obviously the sun which you can't see too clever because the light's not on um, see it a little bit better there but simple sun but for keeping the water clean it does exactly what I needed to do so I'm over the moon with that uh, we're going to cross over to the 5 foot tank which is now the Tang Tanya Eco <laughs> tank absolutely bobbing that that, was it, that word uh, to excuse me but in there we've got treks uh, some Lapimankas gold some other species, uh, the lupi, plenty of not work, artificial background, shells, sand, uh, this is my little uh, better station, uh, keep me adult betters, ready for when I breed them, Everything's everything is an ongoing project, so just have to excuse the mess because I only live in a one bedroom flat, so to be able to get it all in, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a struggle. This is a, a 60 litre, this is actually the very first tank that I, I bought, this, this one here. Uh, it's a simple scape, uh, it's got Checkered, checkered there, uh, barbs, a couple of copies. That there, I've got the light on it, but it's actually cork, and it's got water coming from the top, running down, which is a nice photo. Oh, there you go, treat you to a little bit of light. <laughs> yeah, but it's not bad, it's not bad. I actually, I'm actually gonna change this up shortly. So these these tanks we're going to be looking at here now are a couple of tanks what I've got in the kitchen, one on top of the fridge. Uh, it's just a little grow out for some copies. Some moss. We're just trying to grow in all different tanks. We're going to start breeding. Babes have got somewhere to go. This next tank is just like obviously just next to the fridge. Uh, overrun with snails. Bad move on my on my part. Putting snails in the tanks. It, I'm just battered with them. But got to do in there. Obviously these guppies. There's some uh, blue drip. Blue Dream Shrimp, which I'm 
which nearly died off and just started to pull them back. So I'm hoping to see them take off soon. Just a, a lot of floating plants for the fry. We can see in that in that in that picture there that all the, the Malaysia trumpet snails and these rams arms as well. So from there we're gonna go into the bedroom. My one bedroom <laughs> and uh, this is the grow out tank for my uh, babies. So there's uh, fighters, angels, and that's it, that's it in a minute. Fighters and angels. But you'll see, you'll see shortly what I start them off in, and then they cross over into this, just so there's more water, more water. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the water to replicate the water change. So the next tank to it is my discus tank. They have laid eggs and brought them through, so I'm buzzing with that. Uh, this is another uh, Tanganyikan tank. Oops, I don't know what's going on there. Got to get with. I apologise about that. But oh, back to the <laughs> back to the uh, baby tank. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I'll have to sell that out shortly. Yeah. I better, I better start it. I better duplicate it, but I've duplicated it. That's what I've done. So it's going to go over to the discus now. Yeah. I've duplicated it. So a discus tank. Uh, two beautiful discus. Uh, they have laid eggs and, and got them all the way through to uh, pre-swimming. And we talk that I've got footage of. <laughs> Not too sure going off this. Uh, this tank is another tank in the It's a tank that I made myself uh, to replicate uh, the the short tank. But it's only eight inches tall. But it's like one of the low boys to replicate a low boy, and it works quite well. Uh, it's got multis, treks. Uh, Shardies in there, so that's doing, that's doing well. Uh, this next tank down is another uh, old boy copper, which holds corridors uh, and a couple of German blue rounds you never see. Some curly loaches you never see. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm getting everything uh, zoned in soon, so these are gonna be coming out of there and going into smaller tanks where I can get to the the eggs, so I can start producing better, better ye the yields. That was the uh, the humidifier. This tank here is, you could say, a, a muck tank. So that's that's my muck, my muck tank. So, you know, it's not it's not it's not really fair to you're not happy with certain fish just to throw it out. You know, you can't find somebody to rehome it. But I don't know if I'm not fair. This tank here, it's got uh, a couple of uh, a couple of cardinals and. Celestial Pur Danube, Danube, and uh, Celestial Pur Danube. <laughs> this tank here was just in the breeding session with my fighters. You can see there, just above, 
all simpleness. And you see just in the background the black fighter. Uh, so we've got the dwarf, the um, the rainbows, Craycox, I think, I think it is, with the spawning mop. Next video, ne next tank, sorry, next video, next tank, it's got some sunshine, I think it's sunshine copies. But there's, uh, I think there's three or four females and the male. Uh, this one, she's got to go out for some uh, bristle nose. There's uh, some nice copies as well, one in China to bring on. I've got my different tanks. They see the ears, but they're only, only small than this one. I have bred uh, a few seasons, like I've got some better, some better ears. So in this tank, there's some uh, bristle nose blowing out, but there's some adult bristle nose as well, where obviously the babies come from. And you can see by the guppy, you know, beautiful guppies. If you saw it, you see the ears on it, you see the ears as you're getting getting bigger. You know, so what I'm doing is working slowly, slowly but surely. The females on this on this on this breed are, are starting to really, really come into their own. Hopefully well, hopefully all there uh, get some for each and then for each soon. The colours are awesome, especially when female couples are usually just plain, no colour to them whatsoever. Uh, these here are actually some that I've, I've, I've bred myself uh, by accident and I've got the long thing, uh, long thing, I'll be no personal nose. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the couples in here. Uh, I've got this colour and you're just starting to, with the females what I've got, you're starting to breed through. So I'm, I'm getting this kind of colour morph quite regular. So not too far, not too far away in the future. I should have, I should have it fingered in. Very nice cuppa. And there we've got some uh, cardinals. But we're going to have a go at trying to breed. <laughs> oh, cardinals. I really do. So that's why I'm trying my best to get these going. Hopefully, I'll be able to succeed. Got another. Uh, by a better uh, breeding attempt. That's my female koi. And we're using the Elboy, Elboy male. Now, he's not, he's very, I think he's very young, so he's not, he, he, he absolutely bobbins at wrapping the female. But for the nest, Oh, he's got that right, he's got that down. He makes a cracking nest underneath them leaves. So in here is, there's two bristle moles, uh, cherry shrimp, and a whole heap of Malaysian trump trumpet snails. Just can't get rid of them. I need to figure it out somehow because it's just too exciting to annoy me now. Uh, you can just see the uh, the cherry shrimp on that sponge there then. And uh, so this this is another, this is something else what died right off of me. Uh, I actually thought I had none left whatsoever and they bounced back. 
doing quite well at the moment. So this tank here is uh, the orange flash cockatoos. Cockatoos, cockatoos. <laughs> Just a minute in, in the end of the long next tank across we've got me uh, a pair of me black rams. That you pulled out from a group of about 10, 10 or 12. It's actually, I've actually I've got, alright, let's see, I ordered 10 and he sent me 12. Uh, and I've actually got three pairs so far. So, over the moon with my black rams. Stunning, stunning fish. Absolutely stunning. Now these these keep laying. I'm having success with them laying, but not to put not to full fry. Uh, the male is not doing his job in fertilising. I'm not too sure if they're about to breed or they or, or they've laid eggs. I think they're about to. Otherwise, I think we'll have shown you the eggs. Uh, these are me. Panjacks, is it? Pan, pan, I think I've been called Panjacks. There's the male, stunning, really nice colours. Female, just got a load of moss and some other plants knocking about and a spawning moth as well. Obviously, I can't. Yeah, so they eggs out of the moss, but I take eggs out of the spawning not regular. So this is my attempt of digging from uh, the, the, the the master from the aquarium co-op. Absolute crap. Now I've never had any joy bringing the babies on. I just can't seem to do them. Uh, so once you watch that video of what Dean done with it with his fry uh, rack. I thought I'll have a go at that. So this was my attempt. And uh, it works. It definitely definitely works. That fry there is actually one of the punch hats. <coughs> oh, excuse me. as well. Oh, that's your crease, wasn't it? Awesome. Over the moon. <laughs> In this year we've got the some stir by corridors. Now I'll I'll say I'm still not winning with these. I get into free swimming and then I don't know I don't know what what's going wrong. I just end up popping the clogs. But I'll get there, I'll get there. Fascinating when you see when you see the eggs like that and you see the eyes. Absolutely fascinating. Just try and focus in on on the babies for you to show you. Now these are my baby discus. There's an air stone in there which has got edge smeared on it, which is giving them the first the first bit of food. These are actually growing out in that baby tank where I had the betters uh, the 
baby betters and the baby angels is actually in that tank now. I've not seen anything, so I think I've, I think I've, I've, I think I've messed up there, putting him in that tank. I should have left him in here. There's some more fighters. Camera's gone there. Uh, AWOL. I apologize for that. But, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with an illness and you can't go out and, you know, you're sat on your backside playing computer games uh, and eating rubbish because you're bored. You know, this, this other is a massive, massive help, you know, especially if you enjoy it, the, like the way I enjoy it, you know, like a great satisfaction in you know, watching the fish and watching certain traits, you know, to know what's going to be going on and what have you. There's some more corridors. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a massive help to me, it really has. My family don't, my family don't, don't understand why I do it, you know, the, the, because like I like to say, you know, I'm only in a one bedroom flat and it's absolutely cramped back with tanks. Absolutely cramped back. Maybe standard, the stand in my bedroom's got, at the minute, it's got two, four, six, eight. I don't know. It's a bit 12, 15 tanks or something. Uh, the baby called dead angels. Buzzing with these, so we've got quite a few growing out now. But I would have, I would have, I would have got nowhere. I wouldn't have even got that far if it wouldn't have been for Dean's breeding rat, baby rat. This tank here has got army black rams in it. Absolutely beautiful fish. And the, the, the black rams that the, the, the lad sent me, I mean, just, just look. Absolutely stunning. Now there's a picture of my female, one of my female guppies, what I was talking about. Now look at the other one. Look at the two of them. And you can see two in a picture how similar they are. You know, they're really starting to, to breed two your females, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Really, really looking nice, the females. So, guys, that's going to be the end of uh, this video. Uh, so like I say, if anybody's suffering with anxiety and struggling on going outdoors, uh, think about getting a fish tank, you know, uh, and, you know, trying to do a little bit of breeding, you know, just get some guppies, you know, and you'll see them babies, you know, and it gives you, it gives you so much satisfaction and it, it gives you something to do, you know, you've got to, you, you've got to get up and you've got to feed them, you look after them, the water changes, you know, uh, all kinds, and you'd be surprised how much it helps, it really, you really would. Now, most times I'm sat there, before I was doing, messing about with the fish, I was sat there on the computer game, I'm just, I'm just eating, I'm just ballooned up, like, like you cannot believe. Uh, I started losing weight now, so that's a good thing. But I was so, so I was so depressed when that all that COVID, all that COVID, COVID malarkey was going on. You know, because I couldn't go out then, even if I wanted to. You know what I mean? I couldn't go out anyway most times because because you know it's what I'm having, but. 
when when you put in a, a situation where you can't go out, uh, you know, depression just kicked in, and the fish on there has been has been a saviour for me. So if anybody's suffering with, with with this kind of illness, please think about getting the fish tank. It will help, I promise. So until next time, until the next video, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some uh, updates on certain tanks because I'm gonna be changing out the the stand in in the uh, bedroom from the tanks what are on there at the minute to 10 gallon ones I'm going to put some 10 gallons in there so I can concentrate on the black rams uh, and a few and a couple of other fish where I can just put like species like a species only tank type thing with probably uh, a dinner fish to make the other ones feel safe so until then I wish everybody the best and good looking and whatever you're doing and i'll catch you next time guys bye